In mathematics, and more specifically in graph theory, a tree is an undirected graph in which any two vertices are connected by exactly one path. In other words, any connected graph without simple cycles is a tree. A forest is a disjoint union of trees. The various kinds of data structures referred to as trees in computer science have underlying graphs that are trees in graph theory. Although such data structures are generally rooted trees, thus in fact being directed graphs, and may also have additional ordering of branches. Rooted trees in their directed graph form may be called directed rooted trees. Other terms for this include arborescence, out-arborescence, out-tree, and even branching. The term tree was coined in 1857 by the British mathematician Arthur Cayley. Definitions a tree is an undirected simple graph G that satisfies any of the following equivalent conditions. G is connected and has no cycles. G has no cycles, and a simple cycle is formed if any edge is added to G. G is connected, but is not connected if any single edge is removed from G. G is connected and the three vertex complete graph is not a minor of G. Any two vertices in G can be connected by a unique, simple path. If G has finitely many vertices, say n of them, then the above statements are also equivalent to any of the following conditions. G is connected and has n minus 1 edges. G has no simple cycles and has n minus 1 edges. As elsewhere in graph theory, the order zero graph is generally excluded from consideration. While it is vacuously connected as a graph, it is not zero connected connected in algebraic topology, unlike non-empty trees, and violates the one more node than edges relation. A leaf is a vertex of degree 1. An internal vertex is a vertex of degree at least 2. An irreducible tree is a tree in which there is no vertex of degree 2. A forest is an undirected graph, all of whose connected components are trees. In other words, the graph consists of a disjoint union of trees. Equivalently, a forest is an undirected cycle-free graph. As special cases, an empty graph, a single tree, and the discrete graph on a set of vertices, all are examples of forests. The term hedge sometimes refers to an ordered sequence of trees. A polytree is a directed acyclic graph whose underlying undirected graph is a tree. In other words, if we replace its directed arcs with undirected edges, we obtain an undirected graph that is both connected and acyclic. A directed tree is a directed graph which would be a tree if the directions on the edges were ignored, i.e., a polytree. Some authors restrict the phrase to the case where the edges are all directed towards a particular vertex, or all directed away from a particular vertex. A tree is called a rooted tree if one vertex has been designated the root, in which case the edges have a natural orientation, towards or away from the root. The tree order is the partial ordering on the vertices of a tree with UV if and only if the unique path from the root to V passes through U. A rooted tree which is a subgraph of some graph G is a normal tree if the ends of every edge and G are comparable in this tree order whenever those ends are vertices of the tree. Rooted trees, often with additional structure such as ordering of the neighbors at each vertex, are a key data structure in computer science, see tree data structure. In a context where trees are supposed to have a root, a tree without any designated root is called the free tree. In a rooted tree, the parent of a vertex is the vertex connected to it on the path to the root. Every vertex except the root has a unique parent. A child of a vertex V is a vertex of which V is the parent. A descendant of any vertex V is any vertex which is either the child of E or is the descendant of any of the children of E. A sibling to a vertex V is any other vertex on the tree which has the same parent as V. A label tree is a tree in which each vertex is given a unique label. The vertices of a label tree on n vertices are typically given the labels 1, 2, 
A recursive tree is a labeled rooted tree where the vertex labels respect the tree order, aka our white tree is a rooted tree for which each vertex has at most k children. Two AR white trees are sometimes called binary trees, while three AR white trees are sometimes called ternary trees. A terminal vertex of a tree is a vertex of degree 1. In a rooted tree, the leaves are all terminal vertices. Additionally, the root, if not a leaf itself, is a terminal vertex if it has precisely one child. Plane tree An ordered tree or plane tree is a rooted tree for which an ordering is specified for the children of each vertex. This is called a plane tree, because an ordering of the children is equivalent to an embedding of the tree in the plane, with the root at the top and the children of each vertex lower than that vertex. Given an embedding of a rooted tree in the plane, if one fixes a direction of children, say left to right, then an embedding gives an ordering of the children. Conversely, given an ordered tree, and conventionally drawing the root at the top, then the child nodes in an ordered tree can be drawn left to right, yielding an essentially unique planar embedding. A leaf in a rooted tree is a vertex of degree 1 that is not the root. A terminal vertex of a tree is a vertex of degree 1. In a rooted tree, the leaves are all terminal vertices. Additionally, the root, if not a leaf itself, is a terminal vertex if it has precisely one child. Example the example tree shown above has six vertices and six minus one equals five edges. The unique, simple path connecting the vertices two and six is two, four, five, six. Facts. Every tree is a bipartite graph and a median graph. Every tree with only countably many vertices is a planar graph. Every connected graph G admits a spanning tree, which is a tree that contains every vertex of G and whose edges are edges of G. Every connected graph with only countably many vertices admits a normal spanning tree. There exist connected graphs with uncountably many vertices which do not admit a normal spanning tree. Every finite tree with n vertices, with n greater than 1, has at least two terminal vertices. This minimal number of terminal vertices is characteristic of path graphs. The maximal number, n-1, is attained by star graphs. For any three vertices in a tree, the three paths between them have exactly one vertex in common. Enumeration Labeled trees Cayley's formula states that there are n n-2 trees on n labeled vertices. It can be proved by first showing that the number of trees with vertices 1, 2, n, of degrees d1, d2, dn respectively, is the multinomial coefficient An alternative proof uses proof of sequences. Cayley's formula is the special case of complete graphs in a more general problem of counting spanning trees in an undirected graph which is addressed by the matrix tree theorem. The similar problem of counting all the subtrees regardless of size has been shown to be hash p-complete in the general case. Unlabeled trees Counting the number of unlabeled free trees is a harder problem. No closed formula for the number t of trees with n vertices up to graph isomorphism is known. The first few values of t are 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 6, 11, 23, 47, 106, 235, 551, 1301, 3159. Otter proved the asymptotic estimate. With the values C and alpha known to be approximately 0.5349496 and 2.95576528565, respectively. This is a consequence of his asymptotic estimate for the number of unlabeled rooted trees with n vertices, with d around 0.439924012571, and the same alpha as above, chap. 2.3.4.4 and Flajolet and Sedgwick, chap. 7, 5, 475. The first few values of R, 
one one two four nine twenty forty eight one hundred and fifteen two hundred and eighty six seven hundred and nineteen eighteen forty two four thousand seven hundred and sixty six twelve thousand four hundred and eighty six thirty two thousand nine hundred and seventy three types of trees a star graph is a tree which consists of a single internal vertex in other words, a star graph of order n is a tree of order n with as many leaves as possible. Its diameter is at most 2. A tree with two leaves is a path graph. A forest in which all components are isolated nodes and path graphs is called a linear forest. If all vertices in a tree are within distance 1 of a central path subgraph, then the tree is a caterpillar tree. If all vertices are within distance 2 of a central path subgraph, then the tree is a lobster.